Hey everybody, my name is Aaron Ciotti. Everybody calls me Ciotti. You can call me the guy who can't fix a goddamn thing all of a sudden. Uh, yeah, I'm having a real rough time with fixing micros right now. Uh, kind of comes and goes, and yeah. So, we're just gonna keep smack- oh, fuck. The transmitter is on and it was right next to the microphone. Uh, you guys probably couldn't hear a goddamn word I was saying. So, starting over, my name's Aaron Ciotti, everybody calls me Ciotti, and you can call me the guy that can't fix shit. Today we will be struggling with more microelectronics to try to get them to work and just failing at life. So we got that going for us. <laughs> Real cheery opening to the stream. Uh, look me up on places. Instagram, Facebook, CIDFPV. Do it. Uh, Yaw Man Flights, Meatwad Ferry, Eric Zerger, Noah Like the Ark, and Ken Hill have arrived. Uh, yeah, right, Yaw Man? I don't know, man. Every once in a while, micro stuff just... Uh, it, like, all plots against me. And, great. I just knocked something on the floor that is, like, irreplaceable. So, yet again, off to a great start, but I found it. Alright, so. Uh, oh, man, this is, a, this is just a nightmare. I've been working on stuff um, for hours and just not getting anywhere. And, uh, at the moment, I'm dealing with, um, online manuals being wrong, which is incredibly frustrating. Let me give you an idea of the shit show that I'm currently in. Get out of here. Things. Um, for the record, if, if, if the... Oh. If the multimeter is out, I'm angry. Angry, angry, angry. Uh, when we start flying nano drones, I'm just going to pay somebody to build them for me. <laughs> um, it's not small stuff that I have a problem with. It's garbage. Um, just stuff not being properly documented and, and just things generally sucking a big fat bag of assholes. So let's, let's just jump into hell. So, this is what I bought. Emacs Tiny D8 Receiver, right? Half a gram. Very straightforward. FR Sky D8. Signal 5 volt and ground. <sighs> so then, you've got the Tiny Hawk 2 all-in-one flight controller diagram. Uh, in a really good manual, this is like a really well done manual, so I, I have to assume that that the manual is correct, but here's where things get confusing. The silk screening calls out that this last pad here is SBUS, right? But then, but then this manual says that SBUS is the middle pad, which... I'm pretty certain that it isn't. Um, here's the other weird thing. This little guy, Kebab is the only one that says this, but Kebab says that it's uninverted S-Bus. So, I soldered it up to the, yet again, di differently labeled here, so it, it says TX2 here, next to the boot button, but on the board, it's silkscreened RX1. So that's what I put this SBUS on. I put it on RX1, and I made UART port 1 serial. I flipped the serial switch on. Nothing. Nothing at all. Um, and now on top of that, it... I'll show you guys this this weirdness because this is this is like this is just the icing on the fucking cake. 
Um, Crossfire actually won't fit in here. Uh, this is a very... The Ishin race is very, very tight. And uh, what's up, RC Flyer? What's up, Troy? Uh, yeah. Wait till you see this, guys. So, I... Um, I multimetered all the pads. Not all of them, but the appropriate ones. Uh, and... So here's the situation. Where the hell is it? It's over here. So, I multimetered all three of these pads, and it was being very strange. So what I did is I put the ground over here on the battery lead. Uh, it's actually on the capacitor, but whatever, it's fine. Um, it's on the negative battery lead. So the ground wire is fine. So, and, and I also... In theory, these are all correct. Judging by every website has signal, 5 volt, and ground. So I have to assume that this is correct. All right? So I multimeter the ground pad over here on the battery pad, which is connected to this little capacitor, right? Ground there. And I jumped so that it, it claims that there's 5 volt here, but that was only outputting like 4.6. It claims that this is ground here, but it doesn't seem to be ground. So that's where I put the ground over there. That, that seems to be ground. And then this middle pad here that I have the red wire on, that's the only pad that was giving more than 5 volts. The rest of these pads, weirdly, were giving like 4.6 volts, even this S-Bus pad. So, yeah, this is the only pad that gives true 5 volts. So now I have that on there. And then this very clearly says S-Bus, so I put this on it, but that's probably going to be a problem because it's because it's not inverted. But whatever, it didn't work over here on the TX-1, so it should work here. It, I, fuck you, fucking world. Um, so, yeah, and I've also tried this S-Bus pad in the middle here, which is what the manual claims S-Bus to be, right? There's the manual again. Here's the link to the manual if anybody really wants to join in on the pain. There's the link to the manual. Very, 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 very clearly showing that um, that S bus is here in the middle, right, where it's not. Um, NAP FPV says S bus pad is on the other side. Uh, there's a DSMX pad on the other side, but there's no S-Bus pad on the other side. Um, unless the silk screen is completely wrong. If, 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 um, if you know something I don't nap, that all these pads are, are silk screened wrong, then let me know. Um, so, yeah. Now, here's, here's the next bit of, of total strangeness. When I put power to this thing, so I have to give it battery voltage to get this thing to come on. So when I put power to it, the red light on the receiver just barely blinks. Just the tiniest little bit, right? As if it's broken. Take the button, hold the button down, and nothing happens. thought something would happen. I might have to plug it in. Hold on. I think the receiver is bad, which is just great, because um, that's like, ah, fuck it, never mind, I don't know. Hold on. I had the wrong camera on. Okay, so, if I hold the button is where shit gets interesting. So also, there's no instructions anywhere in the world for this receiver. Um, so I'm having to do all of this just completely by random chance. Alright, so I hold the button, right? And then this receiver goes solid green, okay? That's with my transmitter off. Which is very strange. So, if I can find the goddamn transmitter... Alright, turning the transmitter on. Right? Coming on. And, alright, transmitter's on. 
going into D8 binding mode. Watch this. D8 binding is now on. So now the red light starts flashing. Why? I have no idea. Because there's no instructions anywhere, right? So you would think maybe the red light flashing means, oh, it's bound. So I'll get out of bind mode on the transmitter. And the red light doesn't stop flashing. So what the hell does that mean? I don't know. Well, let's hold the button down and see what happens. Hold the button. Okay, nothing happens. All right, so now let's unplug it, plug it back in, we'll see what happens. All right, so now we've got something different, right? Now we've got a, a flickering green light. So, I'm gonna put the transmitter back into bind mode. Now watch this. The flickering green turns off, and this, like, impossibly dim uh, red flickering begins which you guys can probably barely see, if, if at all. Yeah, you can't really see it, but there is a tiny little, very slowly flickering on and off red there when I'm in bind mode on the transmitter. Take the transmitter out of bind mode, and that green comes back on, kind of, sort of, flickering. What, what does any of this mean? What the hell does any of this mean? Nothing means everything, and I've tried every single... Um, I've tried like every single combination of these things. Like you'd think now that it's bound, but it's not. Because you plug it back in and it just does the same shit. It just, it, there's no, like, here, I'll go back into bind mode on the transmitter. It goes back into this red flashing nonsense. Take it out of bind mode. It goes back into this green flashing nonsense. And at this point, it's like, well, how do you even get it out of this? Hold the button down. Nothing happens. Well, it's actually better with that off, I guess, right? So now, unplug it, hold the button down again, and it goes into the, back into that other weird mode where the green lights up really bright, but nothing happens. Watch this, ready? So holding the button down, giving it power. And I've tried all of this with bind mode on and bind mode off on the uh, transmitter, and it makes no difference. Um tool kind of slipped off there. Let me get redo this real quick. So I'm going to hold the button. Fuck you! I'm going to hold the button down. Fair warning, this is going to be a short stream because I'm so fucking angry. Um, this just... Sometimes I just have a couple bad days in a row and I'm fighting through it, but there's going to be a point where I'm going to start to get really angry and I'm just going to end the stream like I did yesterday, and I'll be back tomorrow, and tomorrow will be a little bit better than today. But for now, I'm just going to keep fucking with this until I just explode. Alright, applying power again, and I don't... So now that I've held this button down again, the green light is solid and bright as shit, which, again, you would think means that it's bound, but it doesn't. I'll turn the transmitter completely off now. Ready? Three, two, one, it's completely off. No change whatsoever. Uh, I guess that's one thing I haven't done. I haven't held the button while turning it on with the controller off to see what the response is there. So I guess we'll do that because there's no instructions and it's just a total mystery. I, I think what I'm going to have to do is email Emacs and just say, hey... Um, I need an instruction manual for this thing because nothing makes any sense. None of the, the none of there's no markings. There's there's oh fuck me. Oh man. Oh. Well, there's one of my batteries. Great. All right. So, and I don't fuck with 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 soldering directly to the batteries. It's not. It's just not good. Um, fuck, man. God damn it. 
I don't understand why, like, when things go wrong, they all go wrong at once. Holding the fucking button, the rec the transmitter's off, holding the goddamn button, plugging a different battery in that hopefully the fucking leads don't fall off of. Holding the button down, holding the button down, holding the button down, so now it won't go back into that weird bind mode where the green light is is slowly flickering. I don't know why. Maybe because the transmitter is not on, I guess? I see you guys typing in the chat. I'm going to get to it, but... I did pull the wires out of the battery. Yeah. Yeah, so... That battery's done. This is the Emacs D8 Mini receiver. Micro, nano, I don't know what the fuck it's called. Asshole receiver, that's what it's called. Yeah, see, so now I can't get it back into that other mode. But watch this, I'll turn this transmitter back on. Turn the transmitter back on. Unplug this again. Hopefully the wire doesn't rip out of it again. Alright, transmitter's now on. Hold the button on the receiver. Apply power. No change. Okay, so now I can't get it back into that other mode. That's, I guess, maybe progress. Putting the transmitter in bind mode. No change. Oh, no, well now this, this red light is flashing for some strange reason. Turning bind mode off, and the red light keeps flashing. God knows why. Absolutely no idea why. Remove power, reapply power. Oh, well now we've got that weird flashing green light again. That's great. So let's power off the transmitter and see what, see what happens. Oh, okay, so that's good news. So that, that flashing green means, I guess, that it is connected. Transmitter coming back on. Slowly coming back on. Okay, well, I guess, all right, so we are getting somewhere. So flashing green means that it's bound, I assume. So now, we'll go into beta flight, and there will be nothing. Yeah, so now we got nothing in beta flight. So in beta flight, let's come into configuration. Where the manual says DSMX. I didn't try that yet. I, I assumed that the... That between the... So... so yeah, I don't know. I'll try that in a second. Ports, port 1, UART, Serial RX. Configuration. And there, S bus, S bus. But nothing. Nothing in the receiver tab. So, the other possibility. Fuck you. The other possibility is that it's. Um, really? I'm going to light you on fire. Oh, fuck. Um, well, I, I, I'll just try that fucking DSMX pad. I... Ugh. 
Let me try the goddamn uninvert shit first. Hold on. I have to try this before I go desoldering shit. Get S bus uh, invert inverted get inverted. There it is. Uh, serial RX inverted off. I'm going to turn that to on. And let's see if this does anything. Nope. Type get inverted again. Quads just over their power cycling over and over again for no reason at this point. Well, what the fuck? I just it didn't save. Set. Serial RX inverted on. Oh, I didn't type set. That's my bad. <sighs> this is why I'm... This is why... This is why you build the same thing over and over again. This is why you build the same fucking thing and just, you don't... Oh! It is fun to type get inverted. I, I, I'll say that. Alright, so I'm going to set this back. Set serial RX inverted equals off. Save. And now I'm going to try that DSMX port. <sighs> well, here we go again. More soldering. More soldering. I just... I just... Uh, Big Tater says yeet everything. Agreed. S-Bus signal is on the other side of the red wire, Nap says. Um, okay, I guess we can try that. It's not what the multimeter said, but I don't give a fuck at this point. Apparently, silk screening and manuals don't make any difference anymore. It's just the fucking Wild West. We'll just put pads wherever the hell we want, silk screen random obscenities on the board, and, uh, yeah, you, you just gotta figure that shit out on your own. That's where we're at, so. Invest in multimeters. You're gonna need them. Pads not even tinned. I don't even care. After this, I'll try the DSMX pad. It, I mean, is this like this? So I, I guess this is it from now on. We let we'll, we just have to test every single pad on every single board everywhere until our fucking dicks fall off. Uh, you guys haven't gotten to see me like full on angry, huh? A. Hey? This must be a real treat. Hey, look at that. A pad two away from S-Bus that just says S on it is for some... But see, look at that delay. See that delay? That delay is the problem that I was having with the... With the, um... With the receiver that was on here. The, the receiver that was in the board was doing this shit. Um, and it wouldn't, uh... It wouldn't arm because of it. What the fuck? Look at that delay, dude. It's... It, not, Nothing is like... <sighs> Fucker. <sighs> Whatever. Look at this delight. Like, can you, you guys can hear me hit the switch, right? Like, listen, ready? Ready? 
Oh, you can't see the delay because I'm not on the right goddamn camera. Man, I'm I'm an I'm a bad streamer normally, and I'm ten times worse when I'm angry. So that's great. <sighs> well, we got signal coming in. Now we can see if it'll at least arm. Let me fix this solder pad, though, because it's truly one of the worst I've ever done. Thanks, um... Nap. I appreciate it, man. Uh, why does that matter? Because when I flip a switch or when I f uh, flip a stick, I don't want a half a second delay before the quad responds. Um, that's going to be pretty much unflyable. But uh, let's just see how bad it is. I'll put it back together and I'll see how bad it is. And if it keeps fucking with me, I'm just going to throw it off the fucking balcony into the woods. And we'll just move on with our lives. So, you know... We got that going for us. Anybody who I get mouthy with today, I apologize. Um, I, I'm just, I'm just very angry right now. I don't mean it. I swear. If you guys couldn't hear me, I said anybody who I get mouthy with, um, it's not personal. I'm just angry. So there, one blanket apology for everybody that I, whatever, mouth off to. Alright, so now I get to struggle putting this thing back together again. Um, this is the only thing I don't like about this Tiny Hawk race, if I'm honest. Uh, I mean... I don't love that the receiver on the board failed, but, um, I mean, that's, that happens sometimes, right? But, uh, what you're about to see, I, I, is, is truly like just a, a manufacturing, uh, thing. I, I, I wish they could have done, I'm sure there's a reason that they did it this way. But I wish they'd done a little bit better job with the way this thing goes together. So this guy drops down on top. Um, as I mentioned before, this is a horrendously tight fit for this little receiver. Um, Crossfire won't fit in here. Uh, I think an RXSR would even be a, an extremely tight fit. Um, which is one of the reasons why I went with this obnoxiously small little receiver because it was the only one that I thought would fit um, but that's not the that's not the part that I don't love um, Jesus Christ come on fuck wad get in there you prick alright so this does fit in here fine um, here's the issue though to put this thing back together you have to push the the plastic canopy down and then you've got to take these four white spacers all right and you have to balance these spacers you can't screw any of these in you got to balance these white spacers on the little shafts in there which like the first one is easy okay that one was easy but then these next three are tough and it's tough to get that first one to not pop off eventually so now we got the second one we gotta take our little white washer thing and we gotta sneak that on there okay I got two without the rest falling the fuck off All right, now we got three-ish. All right, so admittedly this is a lot easier. I, I had the uh, the receiver in there 90 degrees, and what it kept doing is it kept pushing the white plastic canopy up off the AIO board, 
and that made this so much fucking harder. Um, but now that I rotated it 90 degrees, that actually wasn't that bad. Um, but I think you guys can kind of see what I'm getting at. Like it's, it's, um, I don't know. And then to top it all off, you've got fucking Phillips head, tiny little jerk screws that are threading into the white plastic. So like when I said in the live stream review that this plastic canopy is going to be what breaks, it's also going to be what strips. Um, one of these is already stripped out. I don't know which one it is. I think it might be the one that I'm on right now. I'm pretty sure that it's the one that I'm on right now. Um, so yeah, one out of four of these is already stripped and there was a second one that was getting soft and I've only had this thing apart like four or five times. So, um, when I was saying that, you know, this is a beginner rig that you don't want to be taken apart and that's kind of the point and, and it's, you just leave it together and you fly it. Yeah, I wasn't kidding. Um, this kind of factors into that. But we're getting it back together, and, like, this is it. This is the last chance for this thing. If it, uh, if it still won't arm, or if there's that half a second delay, uh, I'm over it. Um, yeah, I don't get that delay on any of my other rigs. And I've built probably a hundred different rigs over the last three years, and none of them have ever acted that way. So, I don't know. Could just be a D8 thing. I don't typically see... Okay, so now this one's stripped out too. That, well... No, this is the soft one. Um, it's in there. We don't need the camera to test it. Let's just put this down below the props so that it doesn't... They don't fucking chop it, because I'm sure that would be the next thing that I would fuck up and have to rip it all apart again. All right, well, let's see. Yeah, see it won't arm. Will not arm. This is the exact same behavior that it it had on the stock receiver. Yeah, it just won't give... It says bad RX in the uh, in the goggles, which I'll check. Well, you know, I don't, I don't even need to plug the camera in to check that because it's just in the... Um, uh, I would return this, Rob, uh, if it was within the return period, of course. Um, I, I just... I, I don't have the, the patience for shit just not working like this. It's, it's just... <sighs> Race 7, and there's no OSD. Oh, because I have the switch down onto into the no OSD position. So now I have OSD, arm it, and it says load. That's pretty cool. It just says load. Load, huh? So that's what you got for me. You got load. That's 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 the help that you're gonna give me. Is load. Um. Okay. So I guess I need to load. I don't know what I need to load or what the fuck load means, but I need to do it. So let's go into beta flight and we're gonna load, guys. Let's 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 go load. We're gonna load. Here we go. Ready to load, guys? All right, we're gonna load now. This is the other thing. There's this horrendous delay in between any of the. It's just, man. It's just acting real fucking weird, bro. Real weird, bros. I don't know. I guess maybe the um, maybe the AIO board failed. 
I, I don't, I, I don't, um, I don't really know. I don't know. Oh, CPU load. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good call. Good call. Good call. Good call. Good call. Oh, shit. Why was this on D-Shot 600? Who the fuck did that? It wasn't me. Dude, whoever just said that. NYX. Good shit. The collective strikes again. Look at us go, fellas. This is why I'll never claim to be the smartest guy in the room, because I'm as dumb as a sack of shit sometimes. How the hell did that happen? Well, uh, luckily, that's that wasn't the problem before, in fairness. So we're just knocking off problems one at a time. So now, in theory, it'll, uh, it'll arm. Hey! Holy hell. Uh, so that also means that the... No, it doesn't mean that I replaced the receiver for no reason. The receiver did fail. It was saying bad RX in the, um... In the, uh, thing in the place. Wow, that's weird. How the hell did that get to D-Shot 600 and, uh... AK8K, that's super strange. I might have reinstalled, um... I might have reinstalled Betaflight at some point here. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I feel that, weirdo. I fucking feel that, man. Alright, well we got something working. So, you know, <laughs> it's not a total fail for the day. Um, God damn, man. Somebody the other day was like, how about some micro content? And I went and I said, well, I would love to if the goddamn things would work occasionally. And this is kind of what I'm talking about. It, 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 there are just... I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know. Like, like, I've built so many, and yet they still fuck with me. <laughs> I pay attention. I, I do... I build the same thing over and over, and yet... Somehow, things still fuck with me. I don't understand. Things happen that shouldn't. Ugh. All I wanted to do was get this up in the air before it got too dark. That's all I wanted to do. I just I just wanted to fly this thing just a little bit. That's all I was asking. I didn't think I was asking too much. I was wrong. I was wrong. And now the receiver is getting in the way because I had to put this on because I had to move the fucking wires there's now not enough wire for this receiver to move back anymore which is just awesome because now I can only fly this at 700 degrees of up tilt um come on dude really don't don't, don't, not like this, not like this, move back receiver, move back, just come on man, move back, fuck, oh I see the problem, it won't move over because those wires are too short. That's the problem. It won't move back because it's getting pushed over. Uh, 
Um, what if I pull this over here? Oh, for fuck's sake. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Jesus Christ. <sighs> you fuck sticks. Fuck stick! Come on, fucking camera wires. Get the hell out of there. The last thing I need is for you camera wires to be in the way. So just... There we go. My God. All right, well, that's that's enough down tilt. Okay, that's, that's, it's okay. Fine. Fine. You win. You win, quad. You win, okay? You can have it like that. You can have that much up tilt. Prick. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, fine. Done. Get this away from me. Alright, let's see if it fucking flies and has a weirdo delay. I think there's no... I, I don't think the delay is, is going to be a problem, though. I, I I don't know. Maybe that's a D8 thing. Um, admittedly, I, I I guess, like, the very first tiny whoop I ever had was D8, maybe. Um, but other than that, yeah, nothing's been D8 in, in a hot minute. Speaking of, what's the deal with D8, guys? It's just less channels, so in theory it's more range, but, like... Every test out there doesn't really show that it actually has more range, so it's kind of just horse shit. That's my understanding of D8. I went looking for some info on it and couldn't find jack shitty shit 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 shit. So there's that. Okay, let's see if this flies. Let's see if I can deafen you guys with the... Uh... Oh, that's good. Do that. I'm happy about that. Um, I, I, I don't know. What the fuck was that all about? I mean, this thing was working. Oh, fuck me. It's props out. Some of them are props out. No, they're all props out. Uh, <sighs> Ken Hill says, Do you know what the little chip is that comes with the TBS Micro TX box? Uh, that's exactly what it is. It's the inverter for the QX7. Yep. Um... If you don't have a QX7 and you don't need that little chip, Ken Hill, um, I don't know if you can buy that little chip anymore. So somebody probably needs that thing. Um, I'm planning on buying another QX7 at some point here just to have a backup radio. So at some point I'll be looking for one of those little chips. So if nobody takes it and you still have it, at some point I'll bug you for it. Actually, what'll really happen is I'll totally forget, and then you'll totally forget, and it'll just disappear in a box forever. And then I'll email TBS and say, hey, I need that stupid little chip, and they'll say, oh, okay, fuck you. <laughs> no. No. I draw the line at lava lamp. No lava lamp for today. Lava lamp is for joyous times, and this is an, an a, this is angry stream. This is Quarren angry stream. I'm taking a stand against the lava lamp today. Alright? God. What is the deal? Yeah, William, Shutterbug did just do a video on D8 and D16, and I got so excited, and then I watched the video, and it was just a range test. And it was a range test with a very strange conclusion. Um, essentially that the RXSR on D16 was, like, useless. Um, which, I've not had that issue. Nice, thanks for that, Tux. That's, it's, uh, it's good that somebody still has it. Eh. Uh, just taking these props off. 
very slowly because they're pushed they're pushed to talk. I don't know. Fuck you, world. Ugh! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, just problems, dude. I didn't sleep last night either. I was like I was angry and I couldn't fucking sleep last night. So I took like a like an hour nap earlier, so I'm running on like two hours of sleep. Because by one hour I meant two I mean two hours. <sighs> Push to talk props, there it is. Screw your folding props. Push to talk props coming soon. TM Ciotti Incorporated. Eventually I'll have these props on here. It won't be anytime soon though. One of them I melted really bad with the soldering iron. It's that one. Okay, so I gotta get a replacement for that one. Uh, this one is just barely going on, so this one's gonna fly off for sure. I'm not using prop screws because I like losing quads, um, so there's that. Alright. Grabbing another, uh, Mark, I, uh, I, I, I think I'm with you there, man. I'm, uh, the, the mislabeled pad thing, uh, yeah, that's, that is frustrate. Much frustrate. All right, I'll do something dumb for you guys. Here we go. Let's play a game. It's called Do Something Dumb. Uh, where are my goggles? There are my goggles. Where is that immersion thing? There it is. Stand by, folkies. By the way, this Immersion RC uh, power play is great. Um, I really, I, I will, I will definitely admit that I really wish it's down at 10% power, so we're not going to get much life out of it. But um, I do admit that I wish there was a receiver built into it, but then it would be bigger and more expensive in theory. So I don't know. But uh, I would pay. I would pay 10 more bucks. Fuck you. Really? Oh, you fuck. How? Like, what? Come on. I mean, it is plugged in. The wires are fine on the back of the camera. Really? Now I don't even get OSD? Don't even get OSD now. That's great. So... 
Um, uh, um, okay. Oh, okay. So apparently you just have to keep plugging and unplugging. That's great. I'm not even going to fucking pretend to understand what the hell just happened, but you know what? Maybe I can break it. <laughs> like, it's not just me, right? Like, that just happened, right? You guys saw that. That was me turning the OSD off. I do not advise flying this inside, for the record. Kristen's legoing. The cat is not on the bed. Let's see if I can come over here. What's she working on? What's that? Uh oh. Whew. That was tense, guys. It's actually not bad inside! Ah! <laughs> Ooh, that was a dangerous one because there's a sink full of water right here. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't advise flying this inside, but it is doable. Uh, and this is on 2S. It would probably be even better on 1 It would probably be really doable on 1S. Look at those fucking skinny ass legs, yo. What you know about that? Yeah, it's a little heavy for inside duty. See where the voltage is at. Ooh, the voltage is low. Shit. Make it, make it, make it, make it. Uh, I missed myself. All right. Uh, so it, it works. Uh, I'm I'm over it. It's done. Uh, next. Oh nope. Don't want to put that up there. Um. Let's fly some tiny whoops around in here until this uh, until this power play battery goes dead. What do you guys think? I haven't flown tiny whoop in a while. Um, oh, none of the batteries are charged. Okay, never mind. Let's just, uh, dive off the balcony. Alright, no more flying inside. It's reckless. I don't want to be the, the, I don't want to be a bad influence. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, yo. Chris <laughs> oh. making, making a juice bar. Look at that. Look at that. And that's going to have all the different <clears throat> pew, 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 little spigots. All right, hold on. <laughs> that's what I got going on. <laughs> Show the world. Uh. It's a juice bar. A little sink over there. And then that's going to be all the different like spigots for the juice. And there's going to be like blenders. And that's a roof. Bam. A little cash register. This is what I do. And this is like where they check out. There's going to be other stuff there. And then that's the front. I dig it. Yeah. That's what the bottom was crashing into. Yeah. So, the, um, for the record, I don't think this is—I don't think this is the Wilhelm scream. Um, it's a little different. Uh, Wilhelm scream goes ah, and this one goes. This is also longer than the Wilhelm scream, so it's—it's it's similar, but I don't think it's the same. I could be wrong. Um. Uh, Daniel says it looks exactly like the uh, Smoothie King he was in an hour ago. He also said he peed on the floor while he was in there. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. I told him he shouldn't do that. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. 
All right, let me plug this power play in because I love it so much. You guys can check out my skinny legs some more, maybe. Oh my god, guys. This has been... It's been quite the series of days here. It's uh, The weather is also been fucking gross. It's something really cute you can show them. Can I post um, your tape on your, your transmitter? Oh yeah, that's right. On your Lego transmitter. Kristen got the, uh, the, the limited edition Tweet FPV... Grip tape on my little Lego uh, transmitter. Tell you that's not the fucking greatest thing you've ever seen in your life. The best. Um. Oh my god. Any coughed in all the blenders. Uh, it's not Wilhelm. I know the Wilhelm. This is not that. Yeah, right, Daniel. Wilhelm scream is is very recognizable. Um. I think the first time I ever heard it was in the fur. Uh, well, the fourth Star Wars. Um, I really don't like it. I, it. It it's it. It's too recognizable. And every time that I hear it, it's like I laugh, and it's it's usually not for laughs. But uh, I don't know. Um, all right, I'm going to scroll up. Oh, RC Flyer with 10 CHFs. Great flying, and thanks for also including the Wilhelm screen. Good luck. Thank you, RC Flyer. Very, very kind of you. Much, much, much appreciated. Um, I'm just here doing it for the Instagram. That's what the kids say, right? Uh, okay. Getting the multimeter put away, because if the multimeter is out, I'm I'm just enraged. So, hopefully by putting it away, I will become less rage-filled. Alright. Um, Athic says, I know doing cable work makes you want to drink, but issues like this make me. Yeah, I, I, I wish there was... I wish there was alcohol in this house. I would drink a bunch of it right now. It's just kind of one of those... I don't drink much, but um, sometimes... I guess mainly when I'm just, like, angry and frustrated and, and just want to have a sore stomach. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Some nights are just alcohol nights. What can I say? Uh, I didn't know you were an audio engineer, Daniel. What the fuck? How did I not know that? Because I'm a bad friend, that's how. How you guys say, how you, how you gonna call me a bad friend, dude? I can't believe that fucking battery wire came out of that one, uh, the, the, the power lead came out of that one battery. What the hell? What is that shit about? What, what the, f come on, man. I ask nothing of you, battery. I ask nothing. And you delivered. You really did deliver. Um, since I like pain... Let's, uh, let's see if we can blow this battery up and burn the house down. That's, yeah, that's where we gotta go. That's next. Okay, so. Now. Let's waste some more time. With a, uh. With like a $5 battery trying to repair it. And, uh, we'll run the risk of getting burned, shocked, maimed, killed, you name it. Here we go. I refuse to do this on uh, multi-cell batteries with uh, with the oh god, it's just so creepy going in here. Um, yeah, the the way that they um, tie the cells together. When they have a balance lead, uh, confuses the shit out of me. And I always just go, nope, not worth it. 
and uh, I'm about to do the same thing here. Um, because there, nothing's marked. Who knows what? Uh, it, it's just a. It's just a complete crapshoot. Like what's what? And if I solder the plug in here backwards, I'm pretty sure that it'll blow up the uh, flight con the AIO and the AIO replacing the AIO is a hell of a lot more money than replacing this battery but what's interesting is here are both of the leads so I, I could technically go for this man is this fucking creepy being in here so I mean there they are who the hell knows which one's which? I guess I could put the multimeter back on it to figure that out, but I'm not going to do that because fuck that. I just put it away. Um, oh, you son of a bitch. If you guys ever wondered if I'm just like pretending to not have money or if I actually don't have money... Here's your answer. I'm getting the multimeter back out. Like, I'm not just making it up, man. We pay almost $2,000 a month every single month, and we'll continue to do so for another 10 or so years because of college loans. And that, my friends, I, I not not saying that college is bad. Uh, Kristen and I both were lucky to, enough to go to wonderful colleges, but um, yeah, we really uh, haven't been able to, and and kind of won't be able to until it's paid off. Start our lives um, in the true adult manner of you know buying a house, buying a new car, shit like that. Um, first word problems I know, but, uh, I don't know. Fuck it. Four volts, and it says that it's not negative, so I think black should be on the left. Let me just switch hands with these. And I'll do this one more time. Hopefully not... jumping this circuit and now it's negative so yeah black is on the left 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 Ooh, wow it took a big chunk of the pad with it look at that uh, so if black is on the left then I want to solder him in this direction um, so let's do this we'll go great the transmitter now just says inactivity alarm so that's going to start to piss me off in three seconds. Um, I, 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 am, I am shocked and appalled that I'm fixing this right now. This is absolutely ridiculous. But, um, yeah, I don't know. If it's, if it's this close to being repairable, I, I would, I'm going to repair it, I guess. I don't know. We're fixing shit. Let's, let's fix shit, right? Fuck you, you goddamn son of a bitch. Yeah, I get it. Inactivity alarm. I hear you over there, you shit. Uh, was this the right... This is right, right? Who the hell knows? Let's just turn the iron up all the way and just see what happens. Come on, don't... Just... Stay in there. Sorry if that was a little loud, guys. An activity alarm, I know, I know, I... Oh, please don't blow up my face, please don't blow up my face, please don't blow up my face, please don't fucking blow up my face. Please don't. Please no. I was quick, I was, uh, I was too quick. Okay. I know inactivity alarm. I know. I know. I know that you're an alarm. 
and you won't shut up due to inactivity. I get it. Well, here goes nothing. Come on, no! Man, the sketch factor is uh, is high on this one. I'm willing to do this too because we're on the stream, and this exploding, admittedly, would be great TV. And like realistically, I'm probably not going to get hurt. I hope. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was interesting. It just kind of found its little home there. Uh, let me get something non-conductive to push on this with. Inactivity alarm, guys. Inactivity alarm. The, the, make sure you... Make sure. Make sure that I know that you're, you're inactive over there. You... Multimeter's sitting here on. Jesus Christ. And it's still not on there. It, it um... Okay, so yeah, this might be the end. It doesn't seem to want to um, flow down to the haphazard little fucking pad in there. Although, of course, as soon as I say that, it does. Nah. It's, uh... Well, it's pro I guess it's because this pad is stuck here on the bottom, so let's try to flick this guy off. And then in theory we'll be alright. Can you guys even see what the hell I'm doing? Of course not. Why would, why would I point the camera in a way that you guys can see what I'm doing? That would just be far too intelligent and... There we go. This is going to get it, because it's sitting right on it. Well, now there's no solder on there, and my little thing of solder is gone, so yeah, okay. Yeah, do that. Disappear. Good. Good, good, good. Yep, disappear. Disappear. Watch what happens when I find you. I'm going to... Ah, you son of a bitch. Come on, you prick. Nah, the pad in there won't take solder. Yay, more wasted time. You guys excited? This is great. This is terrific. I'm so excited. Nah, man, too sketchy. Not into it. Not going to do it. That uh, it ripped the pad off, and this existing piece won't take solder. And I'm just, I'm not, I'm not putting any more heat into this battery. It's just, a, it's just a dumb idea. I tried. I tried to get an explosion for you guys. Oh, God. 24 and painful. Um, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to scroll back up in the chat, but I, I, I need to, um, I need to go drink a, a liter of scotch first. So I'll be right back. Is there, like, alcohol delivery? Is that a thing? Is there, like, Uber booze? Boozeber? Is that a thing? Can you guys even hear me? Not too well, probably. I'm a little far away from the mic. That's better, I think. Hopefully. I put the, uh, I put the microphone on a stand, guys. Look at me. Look how innovative I am. That's why the microphone hasn't fallen over in a while.
Alright, the transmitter is off now. The service you seek is called Favor. Is that where you just ask people for favors? And um, they bring you drugs? <laughs> is that a thing? Um, wow. Some days are good. Some days can eat my ass forever. I think we know what kind of a day today is. Yeah, Cage, um, I am, I'm trying, I turned on monetization just as an experiment, um, if it's, uh, if it's too annoying, tell me, because I, I don't think it really, uh, is gonna net any actual amount of money, uh, but you don't know until you try. Good, just, I'll just put that anywhere. Yep, okay, yep, you fall over too. Good. Yep, I want you to fall over next. You... Get in there. You gonna fall too? Go ahead, fall down. Please. Is it just me? It's gotta just be me. This hobby can't possibly be this frustrating for everyone. It can't. There would be nobody left. Nobody's, because nobody's as stubborn as I am. It's an impossibility. It's an impossibility, guys. It, it, it has to just be me. It has to. There's no way that anybody else is willing to put up with this. Tiny Whoop Pinch. Go to, uh... Oh my god! Go to tinywhoop.com and go to their camera section. Uh, the pinch is awesome. I'm gonna be doing a, uh, a beta FPV build with it. And... Using these canopies. These are the prototype. So the, the Tiny Whoop Pinch camera is um is smaller than the old one uh so they made a lower profile mount for it and these are the prototype canopies for that lower profile mount um so at some point here uh these lower profile stinger canopies will be available on tiny whoops website uh but not quite yet Whoa. This is what I've been working on yesterday and today. I think they're done. Um, probably not, though. They'll probably catch on fire when I plug them in. But I put a new VTX in the one that we were trying to fix yesterday... And I put a new Tarsier in this one, and I actually wired power to it this time, so it'll power on this time. Isn't that a novel idea? You need power. I learned something. You need power for cameras to turn on, guys. They don't just run on hopes and dreams. Oh, boy. Some days, man. Some days. Weirdo doesn't believe me. He needs proof. Okay. Uh, let me clean up a little bit. Let me throw this battery in the goddamn dumpster. Yeah, I'm not even gonna... I'm, I'm putting this outside. Uh, I'll be right back. Oh, dude. Tiny Whoop sells some weird stuff. Um, if you guys haven't... Uh, hit Tiny Whoop's website top to bottom, you really should because they've got some really cool stuff. Um, you know what I do is I just go here. I'll show you. This is this is kind of what I do on most websites. I, I can't I can't recommend this enough. Um, I do this in stores too. 
um, which is where, my, where, where the the true crazy comes out. But here's what I do, right? On pretty much every website, what I'm doing in order uh, to save on shipping, I'll go to the store part. I'll hold the the command button down on Mac and just command click all these, and that just opens them all up in new tabs. So you just force yourself. You just click the entire website, and now it's all open in tabs, and then you just command W, and that closes the window. Look through it, look through it, look through it, command W. Look through it, look through it, look through it, command W. All right, I missed the uh, the second page. Oh, hey, look at that. There they are. So they're already up. Hey, that one looks familiar. Hey, that one looks familiar, too. Cool. So the, he's calling them lizard canopies. So these are the low profile. Oh, and it's a thicker plastic. Cool. Uh, 965 is the uh, is the pinch camera. That's the number for the pinch camera. Low mount. Yeah. Look at that. 0. 0.6 grams. That's what's amazing about these canopies. Uh, I'm intrigued as to how the durability is going to be. But... Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's how I um, that's how I do orders. As I hit either the entire or at least the majority of the website, because there's shit that you know is out of stock forever and it comes back in stock and like these like these 0802 tiny tiny whoop motors forever sold out. Boom 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 boom. Command W Command W Command W Command W Command W. All right, hold on. Yeah, license, that is most certainly the problem. <laughs> um, although, you know, problem is a subjective word. Let me go uh, put this outside. I don't trust anything. Time for mailbag. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see if I need a little a little theme song for mailbag. Um, what if I type in mailbag in here? What'll come up? Any songs? Mailbag TV, Friendcast mailbag. Nah, nothing good. What if I type mailbag song? What I would love is... Here's a challenge for you guys. What I would love... I At one point, I saw... Uh, like, a, like a... It was either like a handbag or a book bag or something... Uh, that was printed and shaped like a... Uh, a, a testicle sack... Like a ball bag, uh, but I can't find the picture anymore. But I would like that picture because then when we do mailbag, I can put that picture up and gross everybody out. Let's try ball bag. Good call. Ball bag song. Um, eh, I don't know. The ball sack song. WMV. We're going down a weird path here. I'm going to pull the ripcord on this one and close that tab. And we're just going to get into the mailbag. But I need to find the box that I put this stuff in. I thought I took it out. Okay, right. So uh, it was boxed. But then. Oh, boy. Like a, like a fool, I took two boxes apart and combined them, and then, um, and then, um, 
and now I don't know who sent what. <laughs> so hold on, let me, let me just get over here to Messenger and see all in Messenger. Hi. Oh, thank you. Okay. So here we go. Come on. Come on, Facebook. My internet's slow enough already. I don't need you to be any slower than the, the world. Um, um, God damn it. Where is it? Hold on, guys. I um I threw the box. I, I I it was a real comedy of errors with this. I threw the box away and I, f I fucking I don't know who was from what was from who. Uh, but I had it not like written down, but I had it in here. God damn you. Um, who sent me stuff recently? Sound off in the, uh, in the chat. Because I can't find it now. Um, I had a window open. And I had it all figured out. And now it's gone. Um... All right, well, I, here. I know a couple people that sent me stuff. Uh, it's just this, this other bag of, with a whole bunch of really cool stuff. Um, oh, it's Brian. It was Brian. It was Brian. It was Brian. 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 Where's, uh, where's that message from Brian? Messenger. 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 Where'd it go? Come on now. I had it. Um, oh my god. Damn it. Okay. I shall give credit to where I, I know credit is required. I don't know. Um, Maxim. Maxim sent me some amazing stuff, guys. Look at the, look at the, look at the smattering of things that Maxim sent. Let's take a look. This is very, very cool of him. We've got... This little guy. Look at this little fella. It's a, it's a Diatone Standard Edition Pod 1755. That's probably just the, the pod itself. But look at this little guy, man. Little 20 by 20 ESC, little cap hanging off the back there. Um, set up for two inch. I don't know what to do with this. I definitely want to fly it, uh, but then I'll probably do a giveaway with it. Or maybe not. I don't know. It's a nice thick frame. It's kind of beefy for a two inch rig. Um, but I don't know. Uh, you know. You guys know me. I crash shit. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I'll... It's on 1105s, which are good. Um, they are only 5,500 kV motors, though, so, like, I'm going to want to run this on 4S, which is a lot. Um, 4S batteries are a little bit heavy, so it's going to be interesting. 3S is, is just not going to have the, uh, the chutzpah for this. And it's cool to see Diatone's little... Um, they have cool, like, little plastic inserts. Maybe I'll tear this thing down. Fuck, I'm not tearing anything down for a while. That's a lie. I'm gonna, I have to immediately start working on more stuff. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna, I gotta figure out something, something fun to do with this. Oh, look at that beeper jammed up in the front there. That's a nice little touch. It's clean in here. Clean. Looks like a little RXSR up there. This thing is made really well. Di Diatone makes good stuff. I, uh, I have to admit, I 
feel like every time I see something made by Diatone, I'm like, oh, that's really decent. Look at the, the orange wires all neatly. Look at that. So, yeah, we'll do something with this. Um, and then look. Look at all these two-inch props. Um, I've actually been curious about these Emacs. These are uh, copies of the, uh, the A-Van. Let's do it right now. So the A-Vans are beautifully balanced. I've been wondering whether or not... Um, Oh my god, 6S? What the fuck? Uh, the... I'm, I'm wondering if these are as well balanced as the, uh, the Avans. Uh, Tommy was having some vibration issues on the... on his Uma 85 that I was trying to help him out with. Um, and I told him to move to a different prop. And he said he thought that these were just made by Avan. And I said, okay. And that was the end of that. So let's see if I was onto something there. Okay. All right. So let's see. Nah, they're fine. That little bit of that little bit of backwards spin is totally fine. Um, it's when it continues to spin backwards that it's no good. Yeah, so see, there's no, like, obvious heavy spot that's wanting to go down. So these are fine. These are balanced fine. So either Emac, either Emacs made these for Beta FPV, or they're the same company. <laughs> or... Beta FPV maybe, like, rented their mold or whatever. So that's good. Uh, blue, Avan, Beta FPV knockoff props, properly balanced. Good news! Uh, and then he also put in, these were the only 2-inch props that I didn't have uh, because they're so bad. I didn't, uh, I bought a bag way long ago. And they were just so awful that I said, you know what? I'm going to own all the micro props except for these because they're so worthless. Um, these are just a, 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 a just a very old school, very inefficient design. And I think they're also very out of balance. Although I could be totally wrong, which it's, it's looking like I'm wrong about that. Eh, they're a little out of balance. That Yeah, so see how it really rocked forward there? That's not good. Although... I don't know. Yeah, I, I see that. See that big movement? That's not in balance. So they are a little bit... There it is. Yeah, see it? It really wants to go backwards. Um, so there's a there's a heavy spot there somewhere. Yeah, see how much it moved there? That's not, that's, that's not what you want. Now the heavy spot is up top. So yeah, now it's, it's wanting to fall back down. Not the not the most out of balance I've ever seen, but definitely out of balance. Um, and the the blade profile is terrible. Um, it, you know, it, like what what fucking what and what what engineer's son designed this this blade profile, right? What, like, come on, you're not even gonna fucking try. You're you're just gonna you're just gonna. What? So you know, could be worse. Uh. <laughs> Rob Oxison says, KJFPV, bad subject. KJFPV says, did I see you with the Tiny Hawk 2 race? Uh, if you go back a couple, I did a live stream review on it um, on the day of its release. Um, so, yeah, here's the race. Well, no. Uh, uh. The freestyle, there, there's two review videos from a few days ago. The race and the freestyle. The freestyle is the one that just came out. The race has been out for a while. I like the race a lot better, uh, except when the receiver dies and then the replacement receiver doesn't have any instructions. But other than that, it's great. Uh, I like the race better than the freestyle. Uh, I won't even, I've, I've flown these DYS props before license. I, I know how bad they are. Um, but... I, I am happy that I now have some, so that I have the full collection. Uh, and I am doing a thing. I'm filling up a mug with 
with like one of every uh, micro prop. So then I can like at random reach into the mug and I'll grab a prop out of there and I'll tell you guys what I think about it. Um, he also threw in some of these Avan 20, 2035s, which are not all that well balanced either, unfortunately. Um, and a whole bunch of others, man. These are, yes. These are the ones you want right here, the the, the Avan blurs. Uh, some Avan blurs with some green, I'm sorry, some, uh, yeah, with some green Azure unbalanced props. Some more Azure props. Look at all this stuff, man. Very, very cool. More of the four blades, because they're awesome. Much, 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 much appreciated little care package from Maxim. That dude is killing it up there in Utica, New York. Huge shout out. And then, uh, Shane Duggar shot me back the uh, the Zip 2407s that he was borrowing from me. Much appreciated there. Uh, where are they? Here they are. Thank you for that, Shane. So I'm all uh, I'm all zipped. To oh boy! Don't put don't put other people's addresses on your stream, you dummy. Um, yeah. So I got my backup zings again, so I can fly that glide hammer like my pants are on fire. That'll be cool. Uh, and then, <laughs> I, so I I um, I try to support other as many other uh, patrons as possible, and in doing so, I sometimes get entered into contests. Uh, and I won. <laughs> I won these uh, T-Motor 2306 Veloxes, which is hysterical because I'm about to do the uh, the review stream this week on the Pacer, on the 2207 and a half Pacer, uh, which is uh, very similar to the to the Velox. These are um, like the same. These are basically T-Motors economy motors. Uh, so yeah, th these are cool. I'm, I'm gonna fly these on like one of my rigs. I, the 2207.5s, I knew what to expect. Um, but, uh, these guys should be really good. I'm excited about them. Uh, and then... Are the two packages that I combined, like a, like a fool. And now I don't know which one's which. <laughs> but there's a, there's a tab open somewhere on my computer, which really doesn't narrow it down much. Uh, but there is a tab open somewhere showing me what's what. So let me really quick look for that again because I would love to fully mailbag it up. Um, yeah, it's from Brian, but I don't remember Brian's last name. Is it Moody? Is it Brian? Ooh, it might be Brian Moody. Hold on. Let's see if I can find it. Brian. No. Not Brian Moody. Damn it. Brian. Which Brian was it? Um. No. God damn it! This is ridiculous. The 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 it's just all right. There's like seven thousand questions that I need to get to. Um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna have to. Um, <laughs> uh, what was that? Holy hell! Um. I can't find it. I'm never going to find anything ever again. Uh, and Best Buy is still sold out of the Insta360 Go as just an additional little kick in the nuts. Um,
I worst stream ever. Ten more seconds of searching, and then I'm giving up. All right. Well, it's okay. So it's definitely not in here. So there's it's there's a slight possibility that it's in here. Um, come on. Um, it's gone. Oh, 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 I know how to find it. I know how to find it. I know how to find it. There we go. That's what I need to search for. Search messages for... And now I'm going to find it. Now I'm going to find it. Here we go. 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 And... Is that it? Nope. That might be it. Um, Eric Farmer, you out there? No, Eric Farmer sent me a package a while ago. Damn it. Dad, no. That wasn't it. All right, so I just shot a quick message to Maxim thanking him. So help me God, if I can't... <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Um... Never mind. <laughs> I don't know, ma'am. I don't understand. The, there was a message earlier. I don't understand where it went. I really don't. Oh, it's in Patreon. I'm dumb. Well, I'll find that chocolate chip later. I got it. I got it. All right. End of mailbag. Um, I'm eating cream cheese. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, granola bar. Weirdo's gonna go play catch. Here we go. Okay. Hey, there it is. Holy fucking hell. Oh my god. Okay. Where is Brian's message? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Free Lojo! My god, that took me forever. Free Lojo. Thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, for the gifts, one of which is right up there. It says automatic door, keep moving. And then here's what I don't know. I don't know what, um, so free Lojo as well as, um, uh, I want to say it's Jasper. It's hard to read though because it's on graph paper. Um, I gotta show you guys this because it's super cool. Was it was it Oscar? I think it was Oscar. Okay, I think it's Oscar. Oscar Zeldon, you got you out there? Where you at? Okay, loading earlier messages and here we go. Okay. 
Okay, this explains it. Oscar sent me a message a while ago. Okay, so two Primo frames. Tomo, ah, uh, Tomo Quad CS3. Okay, Diatone GT. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Okay, so Oscar Zeladon, you're the man. Look what he sent. He sent some things. He sent some things, guys. So these are all pieces for, um, I don't think Oscar sent these. I think that um, Free Lojo sent these. But I gotta check. Uh, these are parts for the Cineglide, uh, which is Bob Ruge's cinematic platform. Uh, so this will be interesting to build. I think it just uses the regular arms, of which I have a bunch. Uh, so this will be cool. I'm excited for that. But then look at this. Look at these guys. Look at these. So this is I. All right. So I think. I think this right here is what Oscar sent. I think this is what Oscar sent. And then uh, Free Lojo would have sent... Okay, this makes total sense now. I got it. We got there. We got there. Took a while, but we got there. Okay. Um, Oscar sent. First. Huge ups to Oscar for sending some stuff. Let's take a look. First, we've got a frame called the micro reverb look at this little guy i think that's what this is it certainly looks like it it's got the split base plate uh and i think i recognize these little holes in the arm what where did you order one from blizzard who had it well i guess a lot of places have it but i have to get it from best buy um because i have to get their uh i have to get their uh their warranty their warranty is a little more expensive, oddly enough. Uh, let me check it one more time just to make sure it didn't sneak back in stock. Um, inst okay, I typed Insta into their search and it just deleted it. I guess I typed something it didn't like. Now I typed Ista. Let's try this again. Insta... 360, go. Sold out. Oh, that's right. I put in a notify thing so that they'll um, they'll notify me. Blizzard FPV, thanks for the five Canadian dollars. I hope you enjoy your Insta360 go while I'm still waiting for mine to come back and to, to, for the one that I want to buy to come in stock. Um, Mike Bergman's been looking at a micro reverb for a while. Well, Mike... Let's piece the damn thing together then, so that you can see how it goes together. That's a great excuse to... Uh, I, love, I, I love getting a frame and piecing it together, and then, and then inevitably having to take it apart and feeling like a complete moron for piecing it together. Uh, but it's, it's kind of like a... Uh, I don't know. It's like some weird tradition at this point. So let's do it. And I, I have been very curious about this frame. So let's put it together. And what I really want to do is grab it um, by the arm ends and flex it. And I will show you guys. Uh, well, we will. I don't know how this is going to go either. But we will compare it to the CB3 uh, that I'm pretty sure is going to be stronger. So let's, uh, yeah, this is a good thing. This is, uh, this is good. Let's, let's do a thing in a place. Okay. Bring that down as much as I can. And, all right, let's get this going. We're going to do this quickish. Um, again, huge, lovely shout out, um, to Oscar Zeladon for sending this over. I think this came from Oscar. Actually, this frame might have come from <laughs> Free Lojo. <laughs> we need uh, either Free Lojo or Oscar to to get their asses onto this chat or live stream rather. Uh, Rob Axelson got his package from Cycle FPV. I'm I'm thinking he means oh yeah FPV Cycle. TP3 and baby tooth frames, beta FPV AO and motors. Can't wait. Nice. That is 
great. How many times am I going to say, oh, I'm just going to scroll up and answer your guys' questions, uh, and then forget it? Like, how, am, I, am I just going to keep doing that? Is that the deal here? Uh, this is a, a, a very cool little antenna setup, um, but I run them different than this. So I'm just going to tear it apart and destroy all of either Oscar or Free Lojo's hard work here. Because that's, that's what I like to do, is just smash dreams, man. I'm a dream smasher, guys. They call me the dream smasher. Uh, here's the other thing that drives me insane about this frame, is that they force you to use the these um, uh, completely oddly sized standoffs. I want to say they're like 21. Oh, no, look at that. These are 20. I'll be damned. I thought uh, that they were like 21 or 22, and they are. Uh, no, maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. Let's see. Okay, so that was the back. The backs are 20s. The front is... Yeah, the front is the wacky one. It's like a 26. No, it's a 24. Yeah, so the front is a 24 mil standoff, uh, which just makes no sense. Oh, shit. Kebab posted something exciting over on his uh, Patreon page. Number 24, the Dream Smasher. Hell yeah. Uh, Euro! How the hell are you? Okay, so we got some hardware here. Let's uh, take a guess as to what goes where. These are probably the arm bolts. They look to be about the right length. So let's just slam these arms on this thing real quick and we'll see how the... Uh, we'll kind of just see how everything stacks up. Oh, that's nice. They give you a little... Uh, the little washers that I like using. Okay. Here it is. Here we go. Big moment. So this is the back plate, and this is the front plate. So yeah, that should be long enough. That should be the right length. So let's just get one arm going. It's always so awkward building a... Like, this phase of frame building is always like... Weirdly, such a shit show. Oh, look at that, too. The He did all kinds of stuff that I don't really like on this frame. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Um, what I don't love uh, that I was just referring to is that there's no... The, the arms are only... The arms only have one connection point. Uh... And that tends to leave you with a wiggly arm. But maybe these won't be. Maybe the, the central lockup is so tight that these guys won't wiggle. We're about to find out. Okay, good. Let's just do that. Yeah, just... Okay. Okay. Keep it up. Keep doing that. We'll see. We'll fucking see. Well, apparently now it's a dead cat. Okay. All right, once we get the third arm in there, they'll they'll stop waving at us, in theory. Here we go. Arm number three. Mini reverb going together. Arm number three, coming at you. One hundred six point six on the dial. There we go. Okay, so now they'll stop flopping around. And we're going to put one more in, and we'll slap the top plate on, and flex it as hard as we can. <laughs> no. <laughs> we won't do that, because that'll break it for sure. Uh, we will marvel in its wonder if I can get the arms to line up. Um... Euler, please, please, could you just, I just need you to, I need you to just kind of, uh, 
They came for the content. They stayed for the fucking cursing match. <laughs> Come on, dude. Why won't... I mean, it's not even close. Yeah, that's... I was really hoping that you would do that, Frame. Thanks for that. You... Piece of shit bastard. See, you know... J Come on. Can we... Can we not... Can you not do that? Can you... Okay. Let's see if that's any better. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, ooh, go, go, go. Yeah, but see, watch. I'm going to put this in, and now these fuckers aren't going to want to, they're not going to lock up. They're not going to be able to be adjusted back into place. You got to, the, the, the last one is always the, yeah, keep waving at me, you motherfucker. Keep waving, yeah. See you later, Rob. Thanks for hanging, brother. Uh, yeah, this is Squished X, or, or as it is in its current form, it's, it's, Squished, fuck you. What? What's happened? What? This is actually what this is. It's just a fucking toy. It's a toy that you just. It's not actually a frame. It's just a, a fucking walkie-talkie toy. Oh, that was interesting. How did that happen? Oh, come. Oh, the arms are not. Right. User error. User error, guys. The arms looked, uh, what's the word? Uh, symmetrical. But symmetrical they are not. So let's lay this down and let's figure out how the hell these go. Maybe they are symmetrical. Wow, they are very barely not symmetrical. Good lord. I don't feel bad about not having seen that because that's really hard to see. So, in theory, if it's squished X, I want these going that way, is it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Since it's squished, that's the correct. Man, that is hard to see. That is like just... Okay, so I got one of them wrong. Let's see if it's that one that's wrong. Uh, that looks good. I think that's it. I think that's it. But like it, the difference is so slight that I can't even tell. I literally just have to lay them on here and see if they line up or not. Uh, I don't know, maybe this way? Is that it? Oh shit, you guys know that song. Probably can't hear it. Is that it? Yeah, hey! Wow! That only took 15 days and nights. Jesus. Um, how does this go now? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, there it is. Now, let's see if it falls apart. Yep, of course it does. Uh, oh, come on. Don't... Just, there we go. What's great is going to be that I'm going to have to take this all apart to build it. But we're just practicing right now, right? We're just we're just practicing how to build it. We're working the kinks out. I'm going to test it. And then, I don't know. I'll have to decide. Is this a straight-up giveaway or is this a, um, or do I build it, see how it is? I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, you know, I, I like actually, no matter what, I'm gonna have to take this apart because, um, <laughs> Athix says put a bloody handprint on the frame and call it Wilson. Uh, I have to take it apart because these stack screws are fine. All right, I don't have to take it apart. I thought the stack. I thought I was gonna have to get at the stack screws. Uh, in which case, you have to pull these two apart. But it doesn't look like I have to. See how the stack screws are uh, conical and and flattened out in there? No, not flattened out. That's not the right word. But I don't know. Make up your own words. 
Your words here. Uh, okay, pull this camera out of here. And I am going to put the side plates in because I do also want to get a weight on this. We'll, we'll also weigh this uh, compared to the CB3. Um, it won't be a perfectly fair comparison because uh, this has a piece of um -a grip. But what I'll do is I'll leave the... I will leave the poop in my pants. I will leave the TPU uh, bumpers, uh, arm guards, on the TB3. And in theory, those roughly weigh what this uh, uh, Gorilla Grip here weighs. I'm um, a grip here weighs. So it won't be a totally bullshit comparison. It'll be pretty close, I think. Okay, so there's that. Let's get these screwed in. Okay, or not. Uh, what? What? Oh my god, I didn't even realize these are M2s. Why do these not look like M2s? These are like big for M2s, I think. Am I losing my mind? These aren't M2s, these are M3s. But they have an M2 head on them. Whoa. That's weird. Wait, what? Hold on. Hold on, what? This is an M2 screw with an M3 head on it. Or is it? Oh no, you know what this is? This is M2 and a half. No, it's not. Maybe it is. I think this is M2 and a half. Wow, dude. I'm not drunk, Crunk. It's just uh, the whole world is is upside down and backwards right now. These are M2 and a half screws, and these are M2 and a half standoffs. That's the strangest shit ever. Because look, here's a regular M2 with the 1.5 millimeter head that we would expect. Ready? And look. Ugh, nope. That's not it. And now, do I have an M3 floating around? Probably not. Come on, M3. Where are you? And here's an M3. Let's see how that fits. Oh my god, open bag. Oh my god. Here's an M3. Nope. Shut the F down. Damn, dude. Impulse was like, screw everything. We're going to use wacky hardware. We're going to use conical stuff. All bets are off. Wow, so like nothing is nothing is really adjustable in this frame. Like it it this like you build it like this and that's that. Interesting. It's small. It's very light. This should be lighter than the CB3 frame. Let's see. Or that. Or it's heavier. 38.2 versus 37.3 um wow that's kind of crazy so smaller non-standard standoffs uh you can't change the height of the standoffs ever um which essentially also means that you can it's it's going to be really hard to put I don't think you can put HD in here. I don't think there's enough vertical space for HD. Um, two and a half millimeter arms, and yeah, they're not strong enough. So it's very hard for me to show this to you guys, but what I'm trying to show you is the amount of deflection. All right? So you can see it's bendy, right? Like you can see it's bendy. Yeah, there is the stack hardware, but um, and then with three mil arms that I don't even think are cranked down. I cranked everything down pretty good on that build just now. 
Oh, so d I mean, not only are these just three mil. Uh, yeah, this is not a fair fight because these arms only have one screw in them. Um, so here, I'll grab this one. Uh, and then this is three mil carbon that's actually even bigger. And like, there's a little deflection there. Like, you can see me bending a little bit, but the difference in strength is unbelievable. I mean, the the, the difference in yeah, I mean it's the these are two and a half mil. Two and a half mil feels exactly like two and a half. There, there's a very specific bendiness to two millimeter, a very specific bendiness to two and a half now, as I just found out, and three, um, and three is a lot stronger. Um, the um, you know think about going from two mil to three mil. That's a fifty percent increase, right? Going from two and a half to three, that's a 25% increase, I think. Maybe a little bit less than that, but still a big increase. Maybe like a 20, 20 to 25% increase, and that's substantial. Um, so the side plates are the big problem If with um, raising the... Well, there's two big problems. Um, if you want to raise the top plate to make room for HD, you're going to have to source front and rear standoffs that are different heights... Um, so, like, for example, this front standoff is, uh, let's see, it is 24 millimeters. So the front standoffs are 24 millimeters tall, and then the rear standoffs are 20 and a half millimeters tall, right? Because the arms are uh, two and a half. So to make this higher, you're going to have to find front and rear standoffs that are of that same ratio right what did i say 26 to 20 and a half so like good fucking luck with that what are you gonna do you can go up to a, a 30 in the front and then you'll have to find a well i mean here's the other way that you can figure it out right this ba so there's the rear standoff um and then there's what appears to be a one and a half to two millimeter and then there's a two and a half millimeter arm and then, and that's it. So that's the height, uh, that's the height difference that you have to make up for. It's just not going to work. Um, this, this frame, this is it. There's no changing this. Uh, on the, on the micro alien, you could, you'd have to bail on the side plates, which is kind of annoying. But if you ditch the side plates and if you can somehow find... TPU hardware for these wacky M2.5 standoffs that I, I've never seen or anything before, then you might be able to do it, but uh, you guys picking up what I'm putting down, right? Cool frame, though. It's, uh, it's stronger than I thought. But it's also heavy, man. I mean, yes, there's there's these four screws in here. Well, here, fuck. Here's a... I will even the playing field. Here we go. I shall even the playing field. There's the micro reverb. And now I've got four big-ass long standoffs that I'll put in with the CV3 frame, 38.2 versus 38.9. So there you go. Um, for an extra 0.7 of a gram, you're getting 3 millimeter arms instead of 2 millimeter arms. And you're also getting a longer canopy, a little bit longer canopy, a little bit easier to fit shit in. Not really, though. Um, but the big thing is, you're using standard M3 standoffs, standard M3 screws, uh, and you can raise or lower this top plate to accommodate, uh, if you run 25 millimeter standoffs, you can do a Tarsier stack. We've got a, a Talon F4 up on top, and then a Speedix GS25. And then the double Tarsier stack and the Tarsier camera, all under a 25 millimeter standoff. And then you just get your uh, receiver and your VTX in the back there, zip time to the 
to the standoffs, or you can lay them down on the bottom plate if you prefer that. Or you can build it for a Runcam hybrid with 28 millimeter standoffs because the Runcam hybrid camera is fucking gigantic. And in here you've got nothing but space. GS25, Talon F4, and then the single Runcam hybrid board up top. And you've got more than enough space. And on this setup, I even put the arms up above the base plate. So that raises the prop line up considerably. Um, which is why I'm so excited about this this setup here. Uh, hopefully the, the VTX that I just put in will actually work. And hopefully it's not pouring all day tomorrow. So that I can fly it. Uh, so there you go. There's my review of the... Impulse RC. Is that their name? Impulse RC? Yeah, Impulse RC Micro Reverb. Very cool looking, uh, but a very limited frame that I don't I don't think you'll ever be able to get a Tarsier or a Runcam hybrid in here. Uh, I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, the only option, you'd be able to do like a Turtle or... Um, well, nope. Wouldn't be able to do this either. Uh, I was about to say you could do an Insta360 Insta Go mount. Uh, just build it with regular FPV and then hang an Insta360 Go on the front. But they use this weird-ass M2.5. And I don't know of any mounts that have M2.5 holes in them. So I guess you could bug somebody to, to make you an Insta360 Go mount. I guess that's what the... That's what the build is for this, then. You build it with just regular FPV, flight controller, ESC, receiver, VTX, regular FPV camera up front, and then you um, you carry a, an Insta360 Go or something else like that. So, there you go. That's how you build this. Cool little frame. Good looking. Uh... It's cool that they kept the split base plate design. Uh, my 5-inch frame that uh, will for sure never exist uh, was supposed to be a split base plate design. Um, well, I mean, it is. The, the design exists. Uh, it, it's, it'll just never see the light of day, unfortunately. But that's another story for another day, folks. Yeah, shit's just falling down. What uh, what what hardware is in here? This is like nice flat black hardware. I, I, I gotta like hardware sometimes. You gotta like hardware sometimes. Just came out of my mouth. That's a very strange statement from a very strange person. All right, so let's put this away. I think this hardware bag was was in there with it. I don't know why there's so many M3 plastic nuts though. I feel like this hardware bag might be for something else. Because there's a lot of hardware in here, it doesn't make any sense. Maybe it's for one of these other frames. Alright, let's continue the mailbag. Before my allergies attack my face. And take me down to Chinatown. Neon green. This strikes me as maybe Tomo quads. It is. Yeah, look at that. All right, cool. So we got that mini reverb. Let's see what other gifts. Uh, where can we get that other frame of yours? Asks Mike. Uh, which one, Mike? N none of my, none of my frames actually exist. Um, I I've done a bunch of work on them, and uh, they've just never come to be. So. Oh, this is, okay, Primo. Primo 110X. All right, all right, all right. Oh, wow, there's two of them. Dude, very cool. Very, very cool, okay. So we're going to get some Primo action. All right, I'm laying, with, laying down what you're picking up. Wait, no, picking up what you're laying down. I got to, uh, I'm going to wait. To, to piece this one together because I have to like look at a picture of it to see what the hell it is because I'm so confused with the way this thing looks right now. <laughs> Which probably means it's good. Alright, cool. So we'll put that in there. We'll put this here. We'll put this over there. And uh, we'll check this Primo out next time. 
because this this stream has gone off the rails. Went off the rails a long time ago, though. Uh, and then, so I think, uh, yeah, Oscar sent the, the two primo. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, so Oscar sent this, and then uh, Free Lojo sent over. Soldering iron's just sitting there banging away. Free Lojo sent over a set of Joshua's new 2208s. And I'm going to run the shit out of these. I'm going to build a purple and gold quad for these. Uh, it's going to be a glide hammer. So I'll have a big old glide hammer on 2208s. I'm so curious to see what a big fat glide hammer feels like on these uh, big old motors. So I'll, I'll basically... I, it, this is going to be cool. I, this will be neat. I'll build like a little uh, Joshua Bardwell... Um, you know, signature Joshua Bardwell build with his motors. So that'll be really cool. Uh, super, super, super looking forward to that, actually. Uh, because I've always been curious about 2208s. Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure I know what they're going to fly like because I know what 2207 and now 2207.5s fly like. Uh, but never know. Could be different. Every motor's different. Well, this is quite the mess. Uh, let me... Where'd that big bag go? Here's that big bag. Oh, and then the Cineglide. I think... I think maybe the Cineglide came from, uh, Free Lojo as well. So again, Free Lojo, Oscar Zeldon, you guys are fucking ninja warrior masters. Here's another one that we'll check out. We'll check this one out tomorrow. We'll piece this one together. Yeah, we'll start doing one of these a day. That's a... That'll be fun. Um... And I gotta figure out what this hardware pack is for. So yeah, we did something. We did a thing. Look at that. We we checked out this cool little reverb frame. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with checking out a reverb frame. Fight me. What? <laughs> oh god. I hope you guys are ready for a good stream tomorrow because. Holy hell, it can't get any worse than today! <laughs> okay, chat. Chat. I'm, I'm gonna do the chat. I'm actually gonna do the chat this time, guys. Throwing things. Here we go. Gotta liven it up a little bit. Um... Okay. Microphone. Get away from me. Back up off me, microphone. Tidy Hawk Race, you're done. Go away. I'll fly you tomorrow. This thing, man. Look at this little thing. Uh, do you guys know what this is called, by the way? It's a... Let's, let's see if we can find it real quick. Let's just never answer any of the questions in the chat. Uh, so this is a diatone 2 inch. 2 inch. Uh, very soon, Ted Blake. Um, hold on one second. In reference to that question, let's take a look here at the frame section to see if there are any frames that were sold out that are back in stock because he was supposed to get a frame shipment in today. Um, so he either didn't get the shipment or they just haven't had a chance to update the website. Yeah, so... I don't think they updated the website. Maybe tomorrow then. Okay. Oh. For God's sakes, really? They have that many, they have that many different rigs. All right, we're gonna have to go top to bottom on their website. That's not it. Oh, although that take can look pretty fucking cool, right? With the different colors. Oh, look at that. Supposedly the take can is like ridiculously loud, though. Which, um, 
I know it seems insane for that to matter, but it really does. Like, especially if you're trying to fly around people and shit, and you're trying to fly sketchy spots, you don't want it to be fucking... <laughs> Is it the rabbit? It looks like the GT rabbit. Am I right? Three inch? No, it's definitely not a three inch. Definitely not a three inch rabbit. Here we go down the bottom. Here we go. Two inch rabbit. HD version, look at that. Uh, yeah, this, there's no way that this swings three, two and a half inch props, is there? That would be insane. That would be pure poppycock. Let's see. See how big of a prop will go on here. It, 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 it has to be a two inch rig, it has to be. It's so small. Yeah, it's a two inch rig. Because this is a 2.2 .2 inch prop and it doesn't even clear. Yeah, so this is a two inch. Okay. So it must be this uh, 2019 GT Rabbit R249 MK2. Because that's the only thing on this page. That is two inch. Oh, nope, I lied. Could be this one. All right, let's see what it is. Diatone. Take the goddamn pop-ups off the rest of the site. Just have your pop-up on your homepage, guys. Yeah, that looks like it, doesn't it? I mean, I would love to look closer, but you can't... It, that's not allowed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Carbon cage! Nice. I'm down. Keep it. You won't. You won't keep it. Uh, okay, so let's see what the deal is with this thing. Um... F4, 20 amp, Jesus, that's a lot of amps for a little 2 inch propeller, uh, dirt, 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 color black, 6 axis, great, what's 6 axis, run cam VTX, that's a shame, the run cam VTXs are usually awful, weirdly, uh, 1505 might be good for 3 inch sprinkles, uh, I need to do more testing with the 1505s. They are just absurdly notchy, uh, and they have uh, thus far they've they've killed a a, a seventy dollar ESC, and they've two of them have committed Harry Carry from just being so notchy and so vibey. Um, so I can't really recommend that motor yet until I do some more testing and see if there's any possible way to get it to just not grenade everything in sight the second that you take off. Uh, okay, so no info that's worth anything. No idea. Oh, okay, 3 or 4S. There we go. So not 6S, but 20 amp 4S. I mean, I guess. I. It's... I mean, motors that are 5,500 kV on 3S with a 2-inch prop is going to be just terrible. Uh, what's this thing weigh? It feels like... I can't tell if it's really heavy or if it's just really small. It's probably both. Let's see. Whoa, she's a fat one! 80 grams, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. 80 gram 2 inch, and then the lightest, the lightest 4S battery I've been able to find is like 60 grams, I think, hold on, whoa, she's a fat girl, everybody, yeah, 60 grams, ooh, that is gonna fly like a big old box of shit, 142 grams all up. 
on two inch propellers. I mean, you can't always make a good quad, I guess. <laughs> uh, damn, dude, that is a fucking heifer. This this thing is a heifer and a half. Woo! Woo! I am very interested to see how fat this thing flies. Jeez. Motors feel pretty smooth, though. Which means they won't have shit for power, and it'll make the situation even worse. Cool. Let's see what happens. Not today. Because... I'm on the precipice of a mental fucking break. Okay, scrolling up as high as I can. Uh, Daniel Maurer says, Have you seen the comparison of today versus when boomers were in college? How many hours worked at minimum wage to pay for one year of college? Tuition keep going up, keeps going up, but minimum wage hasn't. Um, yes, I have seen that, Daniel. And it's... Terrifying. It's something like... To, if, if you had to work minimum wage to pay for like the a, a normal college education in the U.S., I think it's like you'd have to work for 300 years or something <laughs> to be able to break even. It, it's something absolutely asinine. Uh, NYX says, What camera and VTX do you recommend for a whoop? My Caddx Firefly died. Um, thus far, uh, the only like current whoop camera that I've run is the one from Newbie Drone, and it's pretty good. Um, I don't have any real complaints. We talked about the pinch cam. The pinch cam is almost guaranteed to be good because it's made by FXT, and they've been making security cameras like this forever, and their cameras are just awesome. So, yeah, pin <coughs> pinch cam or a uh, newbie drone setup, I would say, uh, NY NYX, if you're still here. Uh, license to drive. Uh, put RC2... On his toothpick build today, it flies really nice, uh, but has some yaw wobble. What settings do I tune? Uh, you go back to 4.1 because there are all kinds of weird wobbles going on in 4.2 right now uh, that nobody seems to have a handle on. Uh, if you want to keep up with that uh, situation, go into the um, black box uh, 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 black box group in Facebook. Marley Leppo with 50, Norwegian, Kroner. Thank you, Marley. You are awesome. We are going to bump up the uh, the Fetech Fund to 10 out of 100,000 because Fetech stuff and Flyduino stuff is just that expensive. Uh, two days ago, made one of my ruined 4S batteries into a 6S battery. Not complicated, just don't bridge the pads. And switch XT60 positive wire to the correct pad. Um, I had a buddy in Charleston um, who was a audio guy uh, who does a lot of electronics work, and um, uh, Luke Kelly, and he used to he used to do that. Marley, he used to um, he had no fear when it came to batteries. Although he did he did he said he would always solder them outside because he was still kind of creeped out. Um, so yeah, anytime I would have a battery that would drop a cell, I would just give him the whole battery and be like, here, you fix it, and it's yours. <laughs> uh, license to drive, we just talked about that one. Rob Axelson, you need to title this stream 24 and painful. <laughs> Beard and Hammer RC, maybe, maybe he's still here. Uh, just glad to see that I'm not the only person that seems to lose my bacon when working on small stuff. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Believe me, Beard, you're in uh, you're in good company here. Weirdo with a skateboard. Wow, skipping the nagging and going straight to the flagon. <laughs> KJFPV says, hey, bro, uh, got to stream. Dropped cage at school. You're moving up. Oh, you're moving up ads. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. We talked about that before the stream plays. Nice. Uh, Rob Axelson, who's now gone, I would make the drive, but it's five hours. <laughs> Appreciate that, Rob, who's now gone. I'm talking to myself. AMZ Mello, have any ideas for a nice 3-inch racing motor that will have a 1.5mm shaft? AMZ Mello, look f farts. 1.5. I don't think there's any 1408s that have a 1.5mm shaft. So what you want is a 1306. You want an Emax 1306 4000 KV on 4S. That's what you want. Uh... It's going to be either that or a 1404. A 1404 is going to make significant, significantly less power. Uh, the only other option I can think of 
would be a beta FPV 1505, but you'd have to run that up on like 5S because the KV is too small, uh, too low rather. So I would do the 1303. 1303, 4000 KV, um, Emacs makes it stateside. If uh, it's 12 by 12 stator base mount, if you need a nine by nine stator mount base, uh, my RC Mart uh, sells RCX motors and you can get an RCX 1306 that performs just like the Emacs in 4,000 KV as well. You can even get it in 6,000 KV and they both have nine by nine stator mount bases. Uh, good question, AMZ. License to drive, everyone has frustrating moments in this hobby. Um, CID FPV says some more than others in response to that comment. Rob Axelson found out the hard way. Don't drink an FPV. It doesn't end well. Reaction time sucks. Indeed, Rob Axelson, who's now gone. Dumpster fire, huh? Daniel says, yep. Yep, that's yesterday and today. Thursday will be better. Everything's going to be fine on Thursday. KGFPV says type ball bag. Rob Axelson says bull scrotum. Uh, oh, SpaceX launch got delayed today. That makes sense because it was uh, uh, rainy and shit, I guess, right? Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, too much electricity in the atmosphere, eh? KJFPV, did you see, did I see you with Tiny Hawk Race before? I just got my Tiny Hawk 2 yesterday. How's yours going? Apparently longer flight on the race. I don't know anything about the regular Tiny Hawks. I only know about the race and the um, uh, and the freestyle. And if anybody's torn between the two, get the race. Uh, the freestyle is needlessly heavy, and uh, there's no way, and it's meant for 2.5-inch props, the, the the motors that they have on there are 1103s, which don't really have the grunt for a 2.5-inch prop, and uh, it just doesn't fly well because of that. And they used a unique uh, New York... No, they used a unique uh, uh, mount... Uh, uh, stator uh, bolt mount pattern, so you can't even swap the motors. So, um, yeah... The Tiny Hawk Freestyle is trapped with a motor and prop setup that basically only really works for like cruising around or doing long range stuff, um, in my opinion. Uh, you can certainly fly it however you want, but it, it doesn't perform well in any... It doesn't perform uh, good in any situations other than long range style flying. Sorry. I, I I told them it was too small of a motor. Uh, License to Drive says you'll fly this TYS just once. Uh, KJFPV ordering 3-inch props now. What should I run on 4S 1407 T1 Tornadoes? Uh, it's a pretty fat rig, Cage says. Uh, I would go... I would go get GemFan 3052s. Uh, just so that you have the most pitchy possible, like this way you have one end of the spectrum, that's the most pitchy but still beautifully well-balanced prop. And then get uh, Gemfan Windancer 3028, that's going to represent sort of the other side of the spectrum. And in the middle, I would maybe get the T-Motor 3140s. Yeah, so do that. Get those three and see which ones you like best. T-Motor 3140s, uh, Gemfan 3052s, uh, Gemfan 3028s. Get those three, and uh, this way you'll figure out, do you like low pitch, do you like middle pitch, do you like high pitch? Uh, license to Drive, have you tried the King Kong 1935 five-blade props? I don't know if I have. Um... I never got any of the 1.9 millimeter or uh, inch props. Um, yeah, I don't think I have. That would be an interesting prop in a duct. Uh, when you when you duct a propeller, um, you solve the problem of uh, the uh, 
the little vort the the vortices. So on the so each each blade of the propeller works like an airplane wing, um, where you've got a high pressure zone and a low pressure zone, and when those high pressure zones, uh, when those high and low pressure zones roll off the end of the blade, uh, they make a little vortice. Uh, and so when you put a duct, when you put a physical barrier right on the outside of the, of the tip there, it prevents that from happening. It isolates the, the high and the low pressure zones, um, and it doesn't let them really mix so you can just keep adding extra blades of the propeller. You can just keep adding extra blades to the propeller, um, and you don't suffer such an efficiency loss. On a, on a regular non-ducted prop, the more blades you stick on here, the closer the tips of the blades are to each other, right? If you add, an, if you add a fourth blade, the tips of the blades get closer. If you add a fifth blade, they get even closer. Alternatively, if you go to a bi-blade prop, the tip of this blade is here, the tip of the other blade is all the way over there. So when this thing makes that vortice and it swings around, that vortice is hanging out here. On a bi-blade prop, it takes forever for the next one to come around and get into that dirty air. Um, so yeah, a five blade or even like a six blade should work really well in a ducted setup. Um, which has yet to be really tested all that much, but that's a really good reason to get uh, if, if I'm doing an order anywhere and I see those King Kong 1935 five blade props, I'll order them um, just in case there's ever a, uh, a duct that works with them. AMZ Mello, have any ideas for a 3S 3 inch racing motor? Each novice 3 had a motor build dislodge and a magnet, and now I need a new set. I think we just talked about that, AMZ. Was it you that asked that, or was it somebody else? Come on, looking for that orange. Looking for that orange. Can't find it. I think we just talked about that though. Uh, Emax thirteen oh six or RCX thirteen oh six. If you're gonna go three S, then you want to get the RCXs from my RC Mart because they make a six thousand kV. There you go. NYX loves his Cineglide. Awesome. Uh, Blizzard FPV with five Canadian dollars. I think that's pretty close to. Now I think the Canadian dollar is a little higher than ours, so I think five is basically four. So I'm going to move the FedEx fund up to fourteen. FedEx. That's a weird way to pronounce it. What a weird word. F E T T E C. FedEx. How the hell am I supposed to pronounce that? Why you got to name your company something that's so hard to pronounce? Rob Axelson got his package from FPV site. Oh, we already talked about that. Okay. Euro uh, Reverb and also... Uh, hey, there's Euro. Uh, uh, reverb and then two free... Mo okay, 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 okay. All right. Euro, you're here. You're here. Euro's here, everybody. Um, everybody thank Euro because uh, inevitably some of these are going to make it uh, into giveaways because I can't fly all of them. Um, awesome. Euro, uh, if you want my review on this frame, just rewind a little bit. Um, so yeah, this, uh, I'm, as curious as I am to build this, I really do want to build this. Um, either, <laughs> if I build it, I, I probably won't keep it together. I'll probably end up, um, getting this into the giveaway. So everybody, thank Euro for the, uh, for the, the micro remix giveaway. And let me just bomb through this to this bag. Now that I know uh, um, I don't know. I need you to tell me what's what 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 goes where, Euro. Uh, let me scroll down a little bit though so I get caught up on the chat. Uh, reverb and also two primo frames and the diatone frame didn't send the CS3 it needed something for the 16 mil 16 by 16 stack don't don't you dare apologize for not sending a you sent me like four frames bro <laughs> this is so generous um Aphix FPV put a bloody hand print on the frame and call him Wilson um uh Daniel asking what my plans are for this build I have no idea uh Mike Bergman, where can we get the other frame of yours? We talked about that. AMZ, uh, talked about that. Uh, Paulie Lee said good night. He's probably already gone. 
Krunk says, do you ever go through your builds and re-wrench down the heart? Oh my god, yeah. Uh, like carbon compresses, right? <laughs> Especially if you don't use Loctite. I use Loctite and I have to go um, tighten everything down every like... I try to do it like every three or four sessions. Um, it If the, the rigs that I don't crash a lot, I don't have to do, but the, the rigs that I crash a lot... Um, Fuck, I don't, I, I don't know how it's possible, but, like, they, even with multiple applications of Loctite, uh, they still loosen up. And, yeah, so I have to, I have to go tighten every, yeah, every, like, like, once a week I'll try to do it, basically. Um, Carbon Cage with the name change. Mr. Sprinkles asking, would a 1505 be good for a 3-inch? We talked about that. Uh, Carbon Cage is going to order some mad three-inch props. Uh, ben Watkins, what's a good weight? What's a good target weight slash prop for a 1407 4000 kV? Uh, 1407 motor, uh, in my opinion, is going to be best on something between 230 grams and like 280, maybe 300. Um, and then in terms of a propeller, same advice that I gave to. Um, uh, to the carbonist of cages, uh, get Gemfan 3052s so that you have the top of the, the you have the most pitchy option. Get uh, Gemfan Wind Dancer 3028s so you have the bottom, and then the T motor uh, 3140 is right in between, and you can figure out which ones you dig the the most. Um, June Loco saying, what's your opinion on quad blade on five inch? Uh, it, it's different. It's fun. Definitely pick up a set because it's just cool. But they're kind of draggy, and the 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 tri blades are just so good. Like so much development has gone into the tri blades that it's it's really hard to 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 run anything else. Um, so, all right, uh, uh, where is it at? Euro, you still in here? Euro, where you at? Post. If Euro's still in here, um, I'm gonna go through these because I don't know where this hardware pack goes. I think it came out of the reverb bag, but the Fet Tech. Oh, Fet Tech. I didn't. Uh, I didn't separate the two words. Well, I mean that'd be a good name for an ESC company, but they're making they're making flight controllers too. What's your excuse? Look at this little fella. This is that cool little. I've always been curious about this frame. Um, this is that little diatone cube. I want to say frame. Um, it is a lot more bendy than I thought. I, just looking at the pictures and the triangulation of it, I thought it was going to be absolutely um, like set in stone, but it is really thin and it is really light. Uh, look at this little setup here, man. Is that twenty? I guess that's twenty-six by twenty-six. But then what's the middle? Euro, where'd you go? Get back in here. What are you doing? Huh. How does this work? <laughs> How do you work? Oh, so this is set up for a 16 by 16. Aha. Okay, 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 okay. I see. I see. All right. Oh, man. If, if it wasn't... If this wasn't 16 by 16, I would actually probably build this. Um because I am very curious about it. But I have a lot of other builds, and uh, my one adventure into 16x16 16 16 land ended poorly. So this one's gonna go to the, uh, this one's gonna go straight to the giveaways. One of you guys can enjoy your own 16x16 16 16, uh, adventure, maybe I can call it. Two hours and 40 minutes. Holy hell. Get out of here, man. I'm gonna go relax. Doing all this work. Don't they make more than ESCs, though, Crunked? Don't they make uh, flight controllers, too? Better than field effect technology, transistor technology. Field effect transistor technology, Inc. True. Uh, would a gnarly Primo fit that? Fuck some gnarly primo. 
What's a what's a gnarly primo, Free Lojo? Um, oh, Free Lojo! Hey, there you are. Um, Free Lojo sent over. I don't know if you were here when I showed this, but uh, Free Lojo sent over a beautiful set of Joshua Bardwell 2208 2208s that I am actually going to be flying. Um, I'm going to build like a, a Joshua Bardwell signature edition uh, um, uh, glide hammer. And uh, I'm tempted to, to, to then drive up there and make him fly the damn thing. Uh, because he flies all these really heavy frames. I want him to fly uh, something a little bit lighter. And a glide hammer is going to be way lighter than what he normally flies. So maybe that would be really fun. Uh, and then... Uh, uh, Free Lojo also sent. Where'd it go? Oh, the Cineglide parts. The Cineglide parts, right? I think. Yes. They're somewhere here. I've made quite the mess. Here it is. Cineglide parts. Look at all these Cineglide parts. I have no idea how they go together. They, it really, it, it looks like a real. Um confusing <laughs> confusion <laughs> dude thank you I'm I'm uh, I'm psyched to put the um, uh, the Cineglide together uh, because I want to see how much room there is on that front platform uh, I think if I remember correctly when I when I was talking to Bob about it when he was first designing it last year I think he originally made that front platform. Hey, Jamie, how are you? Good to, good to see you made at home. Um, I think he made that front platform for uh, gimbals. And I've always wanted to go down the gimbal path. Uh, but there's never really been a good option for that. So, I don't know. Rev Re Revolectics. I have not heard of those, June Loco, but I'm about to look it up. Cool. So this, uh, what's the Gnarly Primo? Gnarly Primo is the Gnarly with the red TPU. Oh! <laughs> All right, Mike, we'll take a look at that next. Uh, cool. So this is going to be an awesome giveaway. Thanks to... Um, oh, God. What's happened? Um, you guys have too many names. It's it's hard to remember all the names, all the the real names, the Facebook names, the 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 other names. What am I saying? Here it is, Free Lojo. There it is. Wait, no. Wait. No, Oscar, right, Oscar, 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 god damn it. Oscar sent these over, okay. I'm just gonna pop these out, just so that this thing sits a little bit more flat in the, uh, when I ship it, so it doesn't punch through and try to stab anyone. What are you guys talking about thrust linear for? I, um, I tried the thrust linear thing, and holy fuck, it made that, it made the quad angry at idle. I, uh, I went right back to zero on that shit. Not into that. Apparently there's, there's a, uh, a problem with thrust linear too. Uh, so I didn't feel bad about going back to zero. There's a, uh, there's a pull in GitHub for it. Uh, because the problem is it's not a curve. It's, it, it the, the thrust linear is not functioning as it should at low values it only becomes a curve up at higher values but up at higher values you can't like 80 and plus um it's it's kind of unflyable at those higher values so i'm waiting on that thrust linear thing because man my the the quad that i put that on went from flying great to just being a confused mess and i think this just stripped on me Although that's okay, because it's just a big old, I don't know, insert words here. Uh, why would you want a curve 
Well, so they they it's supposed to be a curve so that it makes the throttle linear because the the thr the thrust production and or the the throttle curve, I guess, it would be are not linear. So thrust linear is supposed to have a curve to it to make so that the thrust becomes completely linear. That's what it is. Uh, according to the poll that I saw on Zigitub. Green TPU is for Gnarly Primo. Nice. I'm getting that to that one next. Once I hopefully get this standoff out of here. Come on, standoff. Oh yeah, that is... That is all the way stripped now. That is full bean stripped. Get up. Get up off of there. Come on. I'm glad that you guys like to watch me struggle because... It's not going to stop anytime soon. Uh, it doesn't do anything to thrust either. It boosts the pit authority at low throttle and damps it at high throttle. It shifts the authority. Interesting. So, basically, I don't understand thrust linearization. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, it also did not stop the wobbles on 4.2 with uh, 48 kilohertz. It, it actually did nothing to help with the wobbles. Uh, I went all the way up to 50 with it, and it, it didn't do a goddamn thing for the wobbles. Uh, 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 Chris is... Uh, I'm waiting for Chris to get back to me. I, I put a couple logs into the, uh, into the post over on the... Uh, it's actually not in the black box group. It's in the regular beta flight group uh, talking about the wobbles. Uh, because this wasn't an issue in 4.1, and the, uh, the digital idle in 4.2 should have made this problem better, uh, but it seems to have made the problem worse, which, I mean, we, we shouldn't have to do all this shit to fix it, I don't know, wh wh whatever. I'm, I'm hoping that, I, I, I think I might actually need to find that post and bump it up, because... If Chris, I, I, I put those logs there a few days ago, and I, I haven't seen it. Um, it makes it worse. Huh. Well, that's not what uh, Chris Thompson seems to think. So, I'll let you fight that out with him, Crunk. <laughs> Basically, the way that Chris explained it um, was that the, the digital idol is essentially allowing the motors to go down lower. They don't have to go down lower, but it allows them to go down lower. And um, so that should add additional braking, since it can go to... It can do more braking because it can spin down even lower. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. That that thread, there are a lot of, there are a lot of smart folks posting in that thread. I, I've, I've been having a blast reading that. Um, cause there's a lot of people trying to troubleshoot that unsuccessfully, unfortunately, but, um, the, the big thing that, that most people seem to be doing to fix it is going to 24 kilohertz, which I'm, I am going to do that, uh, because I, 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 when I went to 48, I felt no difference whatsoever. Uh, and I would rather have the additional braking that you get with 24. Uh, but I still want to try to help fix the problem because yeah for somebody that's like hell-bent on staying on 48 uh it's gonna be a pain in the ass for them so yeah i don't know i i tried all of the recommended fixes in there um and none of them made an appreciable difference and then i did the logs and that's where I'm at now. Uh, Krunk thinks he's got it figured out. <laughs> nice, Krunk. <laughs> Krunk says, I'm in your Discord. 
helping people out with it. Um, huh. Thrust linear has been around for a while too, which is interesting. Um, it's just nobody's really used it. And I couldn't find much uh, much info on thrust linear either. I uh, I was poodling around the Google machine, and uh, the only the only real info I could find on thrust linear was like really old, like a year old. I'm like Jesus Christ! I didn't even know it was around this long. So I don't know. Uh, hardware kit might have been an accident. Okay, good, Euro. Because I'm like, what the fuck is this for? <laughs> I'm looking at it like, it, it, it's, it's, what's cool is it's like, really a nice flat black hardware. <laughs> I'm kind of like, ooh, this is, have to keep this hardware as shit. Um, there isn't much of it. Chris brought it up and that's why he's, re oh, okay, cool. Because of the flaw he found in it. Sick. Um, so if... Uh, so, Crunked, if my shit was all angry with thrust linear at, at only 25, what do I need to go down to? Like, 20, 15, 10? Like, what, what, are, what are values that you've seen that have worked uh, for thrust linear thus far? Because I don't... At, at, at 25, like, it, it was a fucking mess. Like, every time I would arm it, it would just sit there... <laughs> like, whoa, okay. Easy, big fella. Which makes sense, because it's raising the, the authority at, at low throttle, of which idle is. Quite low throttle. Cool. And then we got these little fellas. One of them... No, no, no. We'll do these tomorrow. We're going to go through these tomorrow. Euro... Oh, God. Euro, you, uh, you're around tomorrow? I'm going to stream again. I've been doing that, like, every day. <laughs> um... Yeah, I can see that. The the three the three holes on this one and the two holes on that one. That's cool. So I'll um, hopefully Euro can come by tomorrow and we will build these uh, these two Primo frames and show them off. And then uh, if I like them, maybe I'll build them. But realistically, I probably won't build them. Realistically, I will um, more than likely give them away. Uh, Euro in this little hardware pack, there is one press washer, just one. One press washer, and then there's a bunch of these like plastic clear washer little jib jabs. Um, so if I will, I will put this aside in case you need it. If you need this one press wa pressure, uh, not pressure washer. Woo! Press nut. That's what it's called. If you need this one press nut, then um, let me know, and I'll ship it back. What a weird day. What a strange day, man. Whew. Look at this micro reverb, though. This thing is cool looking. I'm digging this. I'm a big fan of split base plate frames. I don't have any, uh, but I'm a big fan of the principle of a split base plate frame. Um, Crunk thinks that the pids were too high. Hmm. I think I was at like 0.8 master and one PD gain. The pids were pretty pretty tame, um, and it was completely fine before it. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep trying. Uh, Gnarly FPV is the company that makes the Primo. One is for 08, the other is for 11. Awesome. Uh, full feed forward transition. High term relax 10. Yep. Demon uh, 55, yeah, I've been doing 50. Advance, I've been doing 50. Any gravity 5, yep. The new, uh, the, the anti gravity preset in uh, 4.2 RC2 is very low. It's like 3.5. I thought that was kind of weird. Um, dynamic low pass filter D term curve expo equals 10. Oh my god. Thrust linear 25, uh, running these settings on glide, RPM filtering, F7, gigawatt, 2306, 1950. Very cool. Uh, ZDK has a micro reverb just sitting waiting. 
Uh, yep, yeah, that was my uh, that was uh, five inch glide on the Emacs Ecos. No, it wasn't. It was the F forty rig. Yeah, because it was one of the two identical rigs. Here, here's um. <laughs> nice, Euro. Perfect, perfect. Uh, unless it already went out the door. I'll have to check, but put these aside. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Yeah. Not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Um. Uh. There we go. Okay, got it. And... Perfect. I had to write your name on it. Euro, because there's no way in hell I would remember it was from you otherwise. Uh, and... That's good. Um, cool. You're I will see you tomorrow. Um, well, that just said 11 o'clock, and that's too late. Goodbye! Uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Sorry this is another weird stream. Uh, tomorrow will be better. Every single day will be a little bit better than the one right before it. Um, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for putting up with my extremely unprofessional streaming style. Uh, some days just blow, man. And and the having mental illness just exacerbates that so much. Uh, so, yeah. Hug somebody that has mental illness issues. They need it. And wash your hands, you filthy bastards. And scream like a goat! Thanks for hanging, everybody! One more light to turn off. I gotta do it on my phone. Go, 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 goodbye! See you guys tomorrow. Corn stream number 25. Whee!